and today we're here in Covent Garden because we're celebrating 40 years since Pineapple opened in 1979. She's just got such a pretty face and everything seems so regimental. I don't mean regimental in a bad way, I mean it's all very lovely. So I don't think I'm going to find it difficult to sculpt her in two hours. I've never been sculpted. It's not sort of something I'd thought about or dreamed of. I was a kind of surprised when Frances said she wanted to do it. We know each other so well and we're great friends. I'd probably be feeling nervous if it was anybody else, really. The whole street is celebrating Debbie Moore's 40th year here. So it shows how she's loved, really. She's a, an ambassador for dance, which always has been. Right from the very early days, it was her passion. That's why Pineapple exists. Debbie helped shape many dancers' lives just by having the facility here, just having Pineapple here. There was nowhere like that, I mean, really, in the world. She was the first woman to float on the Stock Exchange. The photographs then were just unbelievable. When you combine artistry and an education of finance, running a company, Debbie Moore is it. Debbie's quite extraordinary. She is one of the most generous and giving people I've ever come across. I call myself Art from the Heart, wanting to paint this portrait of this amazing, strong, very feminine woman because she's changed the history for women in business. We're going to have a dance performance tonight from our community kids to dance in the street, especially for Sir Jack Petchy. When we first opened in 2014, Jack Petrie actually sponsored many of our dance programs, so it's fantastic that he's here today to see some of those young people that started with us. None of the young people knew that Jack Petrie was going to be here, none of our staff knew that Jack Petrie was going to be here, so it was such an honour to see him in today, but also it's such an honour to see him enjoying the young people's performance, particularly because they looked up to him so much. It was wonderful to see Francis sculpt Debbie tonight at such speed and just looking at her and creating this model, this head of Debbie with the, with the likeness of Debbie, the airy fairy beauty that she has. I think it's an honour to have a sculpture made of you because not often does that happen. I can't believe how quickly she works. She, she knows exactly, it's like it's straight through from there to there. She doesn't need to look at it. Well, I envy her courage to do life sculpting, which I find extraordinary. Although, I think the thing I'm most jealous of is her, are the clothes she wears when she's sculpting. And I've never met an artist who works in a ball gown. What Frances captured was that warmth that she gives off, the half smile, the eyes that are twinkling. Pineapple is, I mean, for what, obviously it's dance, but it's also a community, you know, it's a family. I think anybody that's walked through those doors understands that they're not on their own, that they've got a friend, and in an industry that's really cutthroat, it's something that's really, really important. Nobody is denied an entrance to Pineapple if they love dance and theatre. I think the secret to the success of Pineapple is that Debbie's heart is in it, and she gives her heart and her generosity to everyone who enters that building. You see some businesswomen who look tough and horrible, and because Debbie's got such a fabulous heart and good friends and family around her, it shows in her beautiful face. I just love Debbie Moore. She's a unique being. Um, there is nobody else like her. She's still the star of Covent Garden. 